Good morning, good morning. Happy Easter. Oh, what a glorious day. I love you guys. When I was diagnosed in 2008, I uh, went through several doctors and specialists uh, who basically told me that uh, there's nothing that they could really do. And I was uh, recommended to a, a, an ear, nose, and throat specialist, uh, Dr. Christy Adachi. I was getting uh, a lot of really bad headaches, toothaches, uh, things that weren't, uh, weren't controlled by a lot of painkillers. So we decided to, to take a scan. And uh, she told me that, yes, it was cancer. It was a uh, squamous cell carcinoma. And she asked me, do I know Jesus? And I said, no, I believe that there's a God and I've prayed to him, but no one specifically. And she told me, you need to know who Jesus is. And through the next uh, six months is, is when I really grew. I accepted Christ. And that's when I started to understand that uh, this was meant to be and cancer really, really saved me. They put me on the path to, to meeting Christ, and shucks, what a beautiful journey it's been. I've had recurrences of, of the cancer. We've had uh, more radiation uh, and a little bit of chemo and, and alternative chemical treatments that have uh, that have failed. So I decided um, with my family that we we'll just put it in God's hands. We'll stop treatment. This way, at least I feel better. I could attend church. I could uh, share my faith and feel relatively healthy. And that's what we were doing up until the cancer put me in bed, uh, took me away from work, took me away from things that uh, that I needed to do physically. The last time I went to church was in early December. And the next time I'm going to church, God willing, will be uh, for the Easter service. It's the two minute warning, for lack of a better analogy. I know that the game may end any time now, so it's important that I step out in faith and confidently address every opportunity he gives me. Well, uh, my mother is going with me, my brother and sister-in-law, sister and brother-in-law, and a few buddies. Happy Easter, everybody. I have a sister who is a Christian. I would be the only other Christian. This will be an opportunity for, for my family to, to feel just a little bit of what I've been feeling and hopefully God will touch their hearts. I really, really miss going to church. Watching it online has been good, but it's nothing like being there and being in the presence of His Holy Spirit when the praise and worship team is up there and we're all standing and clapping and singing, receiving the message for the day. Oh my gosh, I miss that. Whether or not you've been invited here by a friend or a family member, ultimately you will have been invited by Christ himself. He wants us to get a grip on what eternity is all about, and that's why you're here. You see, what Easter is, it gives us hope beyond the grave. I know all my friends at New Hope will be reunited again in heaven, but I'd like to see all my family in heaven also. This moment may be the most important moment for many of you. Hopefully my family won't wait until that two minute warning of the last quarter. Learning about my mother and actually receiving Christ was really more than I could ever have hoped for. And now that I know that she's done that, I'm looking forward to, to heaven. I truly am looking forward to heaven with all my heart and I couldn't ask for anything more.